although we've had some well, sizable growth in the cooperative movement within the last uh, six years, there's been growth of 15% in cooperatives within our economy, a growth that's outstripped other developments within our uh, different sectors. Nevertheless, there's, we're still far behind the levels of cooperative development within Europe or even America. So our ambition is to double the size of the cooperative movement within this country. And what's holding it back is lack of finance, the failure to well, government to invest, government to support, but also the lack of finance in the private sector as well. So the way we overcome that is to make sure that you know, cooperation and the cooperative principles are going to be at the heart of government decision making when Labour goes back into power. But in addition to that, we're going to set up a national investment bank. Five hundred billion pounds will be invested right the way across the country directly by government, but also from the investment bank itself. There'll be regional arms. And the regional arms of that bank will be tasked with the promotion of cooperatives. Within the heart of government, we now know in the Treasury there's only two civil servants working on cooperative development. We'll ensure that there's sufficient civil service resources to back up that cooperative development movement. So the combination of central government resources, both staffing but also in funding for the National Investment Bank, will ensure, yes, we'll double the size of cooperation in this country. I think we want to go further as well. We've learned the lesson of, of what's happening in Europe, particularly in Italy. Um, and in this country, we have a large number of family-owned businesses that when, the, well, when the, the owners get elderly, want to sell the business on, or often what happens is they can't find a buyer, and it will close. And we'll lose a small, uh, often small manufacturing and small retail operations. Giving employees the right to own means that they will have a preferential opportunity to bid. And that will mean that if they bid on cooperative development principles, they'll get state support, both in terms of the bidding process, but also in terms of the finances. In that way, we'll secure the business, but we'll also secure those jobs, and give those employees that will then become cooperative owners the opportunity of support for developing that business. That's the way in which I think we can quite rapidly expand the cooperative sector in this country.